Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. I'll be uploading this video Tuesday. Let me ask all of you wonderful folks a question. Have any of you ever received unsolicited or unwanted advice? If so, please stay tuned and let's get started. I wanted to share with you on this topic because I feel it's an important one that may affect many of us. I wanted to first share if you're getting unsolicited advice from loved ones, people that care, maybe even people that don't always care, it could be someone at work, it doesn't matter who, let's figure out how we can handle this situation in a kind manner. First bit of advice that I give, and I've been working on this, and I want to say that this has stopped a lot of unsolicited advice, and it's a very simple technique. My friends have all told me over the years, Dawn, you're a wonderful open person, but to be honest, you share too much, and because you're sharing so much, you bring or you attract unsolicited advice. So the first bit of advice that I want to give you that I am taking and has really been helpful is be careful and cautious of what you're sharing with people and who you're sharing with. Because when we open ourselves up and become vulnerable, especially on sensitive topics in our life, or areas where we may need growth but maybe we're not really sure who to go to those are areas that we may want to reserve for just sharing with just a few very close people okay that's one thing that I've noticed and I'm creating a smaller and smaller circle of people that I turn to this has stopped a lot of it that's number one number two I want to mention and I've already told you one of my husband's favorite sayings is we don't live our life by committee we do not have to defend we don't or have to explain our choices there are many times where I've shared something and people will say well you should or you need well this is why this happened no more I told you so I have gotten that one a lot and then you feel like you have to defend the person or defend what you're saying and what what decisions you've made we don't have to defend anything but like I said that particular person that said those things wouldn't be someone I feel in my opinion that's a good person to share things with. Each friend and each people in our life have different gifts and we really it's good to know where those gifts lie because some friends may be good for some things. They may be a great shopping buddy or someone that you can go have fun with, a good workout buddy, but they may not be a good person to share certain issues in your life because of their response may not be encouraging and they kind of do an I told you so type advice. I'm sure maybe you've understood that. So the first another thing that you can do in this situation is be aware in our in our life, all of our lives, what things are you sensitive about? I feel in my opinion each of us have areas that we could use growth in our life. And we have areas that we might be sensitive about. It could be about your weight. It could be about um, family members that you have trouble getting along with. It could be anything. It just I'm just thinking two things off the top of my head. It could be any subject in your life that you may be struggling with and you're feeling kind of sensitive. You know in your heart you feel a little bit defensive. You don't feel open. So be aware of that before you start sharing anything. That's, that's one huge bit of advice that I have because I know my areas where I'm sensitive. Now on to if someone does share. So let's say you decide to share something. And there's times where I've done this and I'm like, oh no, why did I share this? Especially when other friends are sharing things with you and then you decide, oh, they're sharing things with me. Let me open up myself to let them know what I'm doing in my life. And then they make comments. So if they start saying things or giving unsolicited advice or telling you, what you do is, number one, record it in your brain that this may not be someone I want to share certain things with. That's number one. And last but not least, number two, say to them in a very kind voice, thank you so much for your advice. I really appreciate your love or your concern, but I've got it handled for now. And if I need any advice, I'll let you know. But be very, very polite. If they say it again, say, well, like I said, I really appreciate your advice, but I've got it handled for now. Thank you. Now, if they kept pushing, because I know some people that would, then just say, just simply say thank you and walk away. Or if you're on the phone, say, oh, I got to go and just say thank you and hang up. So that would be my bit of advice on how to handle this. Just remember, guys, none of us have to give anyone the power. None of us have to defend any of our decisions. 
But I would say with all of this, I think prevention is the key. Preventing sharing certain things and really looking at who we can share things with so that we get the advice and the encouragement we need. I'd love to hear from you guys on this topic. Before letting you go, I'm going to do a shout out to a new channel called Diving with Purpose. A wonderful sweet gal that I'm just getting to know. One of the most giving people. She's starting her channel to help people. She works with the homeless and she's a very giving person. She's helping the homeless people out with her frugal ideas. I'm just getting to know her, but I'm going to link her below. Thanks everybody for watching. Love you. Bye.